Okay guys, we're going to do another uh, tutorial on Drone Harmony. Uh, this one here... is about um, return to home altitude and the problems with DJI GO 4 and the benefits of drone harmony. In DJI GO 4, uh, if you lose connection with the um, uh, remote control, the drone will rise to a preset uh, return to home altitude that you, you set up and then it'll return to home. Uh, in Drone Harmony, it uses the same uh, altitude, but in Drone Harmony, you can also tell it to continue the mission and not to return home if it loses connection, which is, in my opinion, a great plus uh, as far as Drone Harmony goes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out into the field here and um, do a flight with DJI GO and uh, as the drone is flying out to a, cer uh, a certain distance or I'll take it out a little ways and uh, fly it around and uh, disconnect the remote control and see what happens to uh, the drone. I'm going to take it up like 10 meters or something and set the, the return to home to uh, 20 meters. Now the reason being is, um, let's just say for example you're in a huge building or somewhere where there, where you're in the, in the tree, in the trees or something and you're not above tree, above the trees, you're actually flying uh, in amongst the trees or you're flying uh, along underneath a bridge, a long way underneath a bridge and you, you lose contact. Now you better be in a place where your drone can go up to 20 meters and come home. And if you can't do that, well, you're going to hit the top. Uh, you're going to hit what's up above you. And that's the whole idea behind this tutorial and the, the benefits of drone harmony in that situation. Whereas uh, in, in DJI GO, I would be afraid to take my uh, drone somewhere where there's an overhead restriction, power lines or what have you, or that are lower than, I think the lowest I can go is 20, 20 meters and return to home. Uh, so I'd be afraid to actually fly in that, air, in that situation because it's, if I do lose control, it's just going to go up and hit the... I, I, w I wouldn't be able to get my controller connected back up quick enough in order to stop that. Whereas in Drone Harmony, I, I feel absolutely confident of flying anywhere, whether it, whether there's something above it or not, because I can set um, the altitude I want to fly at, continue mission until you come home, and if I lose control, uh, contact with the controller, it's just going to stay at that altitude, finish its flight, and return home no problems whatsoever. I haven't done this yet so I don't know how it's going to really turn out and I'm assuming that that's what's going to happen. So uh, let's take this out into the field. Let's set up the situation. I've set up a flight plan already for Drone Harmony and I'm going to try to duplicate that with uh, DJI GO 4 and then disconnect somewhere in uh, out there and then do that same thing with drone harmony i'll disconnect and see what it does so let's come back a little bit later here dji go four for the first experiment here with this flight we're ready to go let's go fly and i'll make sure that i have the uh Return to home altitude set. It's set right now for 20 meters, which is just exactly what we want. Let's start the camera, which it did. 
Okay, camera is on. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Right on. Let's start it up. Take off. Let's lift up. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the just map. Above head level. See if we can focus the camera. Which it is now. And let's go up to 10 meters high. That's about 10 meters high, 11 meters. Okay, let's take it out over the field. About that far, let's turn it around. The camera down a bit. Find out where I'm at. There is there's there I am there. Okay, I have some interference. I don't know why. But let's turn the uh, controller right off and see what happens. Let's get this oriented first here. I don't know why I'm having uh, this choppiness here. Okay, let's turn the, the uh, app right off, or the uh, remote controller right off. It's now off. The drone is sitting there hovering. It's going up. Looks like it went up to 20 meters. It's coming home. yellow light on the bottom is flashing which means that there's no connection it's turning turning around it's starting to rain and it's coming down And it landed exactly where it took off from. Exactly. Okay, it did land, and it landed exactly where it took off from. So, let's get out of this app. And let's turn the remote control off. It is off, let's turn it back on. Let's see if we can get, um, Drone Harmony fired up. And it does have the um, uh, flight plan there that I've that I've built earlier okay that you're seeing the grass that's not in focus there let's fire this one up let's okay I told it on my flight plan I told it to go 10 meters high uh, 5.8 uh, let's go 6.8 as far as speed goes, we'll do the video autofocus, autofocus on the AE. The next one is auto land. I'm going to set that. Continue the mission instead of abort mission. And uh, the rest will default. There is our flight plan. We'll 
go next, next, and launch mission. Okay. I guess I set this one to eight meters high. It's flying over to, it's going to get started on its square there that it's going to do. It's slowly turning to get oriented correctly that the way I set it. Okay, it's in its first little square movement there. Let's turn the uh, remote control off. We have shut down. Okay, you can see there that I did set the uh, squares to 10 meters high, or the uh, waypoints to 10 meters high. Right now the drone is flying around the back side of the square. around the corner, down the side, coming down the, the side towards me, on the far uh, left side there. And it should do this twice. And now it's going across the bottom, which it'll do that one twice. I see that the light on the back is flashing yellow, which means there's uh, probably probably means there's no connection, but it's still going through the mission. Across the bottom, now it's going uh, up from the blue dot there, it's on the right hand side going upward from the bottom uh, waypoint to the top one. It's continuing down there, it must be just about reaching the top. And then it'll start going to the left. going across the left now, the, the top part of the square. Now this is going exactly the way I assumed it should, where it w won't return to home when it loses control. It'll continue its mission, which is fantastic. It's got uh, DJI Go 4 beat all to, all to heck there. It's coming down the uh, the uh, left-hand side from top to bottom towards the blue dot there where that's my location. It should go once more across the bottom. It's just about made it to the corner now. I think now it's going across the bottom to the final waypoint before it uh, decides to come home here. And it is going pretty slow. Okay, it's reached that and it's heading home at 10 meters high. Still didn't go up at all. Let's see how close this one gets to uh, land where, where I took off from. It is uh, facing me. Put that in the video. The yellow light is still flashing on the back. And it's going to above the landing spot 
orientating itself coming down. And it landed exactly in the spot where it took off from. Exactly. <clears throat> Uh, within an inch or two. Okay, let's shut down the drone. And we don't have to turn off the remote control because it is off. <laughs> I didn't turn it back on at all. Okay, drone is down. Now, you can see by my mission there, I did set in 10 as an altitude. For some reason it only went to 8 because I initially put in 8 there and then I added 2 so I don't know why it didn't go all the way up to 10. But it went around, didn't go up at all, it stayed at probably 8. Uh, sorry for all the noise there guys. Uh, then when it returned to home it did go up another couple of meters to 10 and then uh, proceeded to land and it did land so the conclusion is DJI go for app if you're flying underneath something like in a building or under the tree uh, cover or under a bridge or under something that you don't want to go up uh, you'd better set the um, we got sirens going on here I'll just do this a little bit later hang on Okay, I had to shut down because of all the sirens. There's something going on over here. Uh, fire and police and all the sirens. <clears throat> Anyways, the conclusion was that DJI Go 4 app cannot fly uh, in an undergrowth or un under cover under something and lose control, lose contact with uh, the remote control. If you do, you're buggered. Uh, it's going to go up to the uh, up to the uh, fly fly home uh, return to home altitude, and uh, you're going to hit whatever's above you. Whereas uh, drone harmony will complete its mission if you set your altitudes below what you're flying under. Uh, it won't go up when it loses control or contact. It'll c carry on, finish its flight, come home, and then let, proceed to land. It won't even go up when it gets home. It'll just stay at that altitude and, uh, and, and land. So my experiment was I flew them both at 10 meters high. DJI Go 4, flew it at 10, uh, disconnected the uh, remote control, it stopped immediately and r rose up to 20 meters, which I have it set, that's the lowest I can set it at in the, in the app. It rose up to 20 meters and then flew home and landed perfectly, exactly right on the spot that I took off from. Uh, Drone Harmony, on the other hand, took off from exactly the same spot went up to, well, I was supposed to go up to 10 meters high, fly in this square formation twice, which we see on the screen here. Uh, let's get rid of that anyways. Uh, fly around that square twice, and uh, then return to home and land. So I, when I took it out, um, it started its... Uh, square flight around that that's the square there I turned the controller off I turned the controller off uh, it lost con uh, contact it continued to fly its mission just like as if nothing happened it flew around the square four times or twice around that square and then proceeded home uh, and landed exactly in the same spot that it took off from uh, as, as the Go, uh, DJI Go 4 app did. So my conclusion for that experiment is uh, Drone Harmony has got um, 
DJI Go 4 beat uh, with with that particular thing. And it would, I was really actually scared to take. I would be scared to take my drone under something that looks like it may lose contact because if it does, it's going to come to home and it's going to go up to whatever you've got it set at. And if you're uh, if you're if it uh, rises up in the uh, return to home altitude is above uh, where you're where you don't want it to go, you're gonna you're gonna run into whatever's above you. Uh, it doesn't know that whatever's there, like power lines or a bridge or under the trees or um, staying below. The re I flew it in an open field just so that I don't bump into that situation. And yeah, sure, you might not come into that kind of situation at all, ever. But the point is, um, even still, uh, the Drone Harmony will finish its um, a mission. And I've done this lots of times when I was flying from my home where I, where I live. Uh, I flew it way beyond where I could see because of the houses and the trees in the way and lost con complete control contact i didn't turn my uh, uh, remote control off but i lost uh, the, f the screen froze up and i couldn't see it anymore at all on the screen so i, d I just knew it was going to finish its mission fly take my my photos however i that my movie however i had set that up and uh, it was going to return to home safely whereas if that was with drone harmony or dji go 4 I would be sitting there waiting for it to come home. I know it was going to ra raise up, and at that time I had it set to 50 meters high, so to clear anything that was uh, in my in its way. So I went up to 50 meters, and uh, it just came home and and landed, no problems whatsoever there. Uh, but it didn't finish its mission. It just uh, it returned to home right away. So um, I couldn't fly beyond. But I was on the street corner. There's houses and stuff in the way. As soon as you get a few, you know, 100 meters out, well, you, you can't see it anymore. So uh, it would lose, you know, and sometimes it would get flaky and it would, it would lose control, especially when you're uh, going up not that high. So anyway, so much for the tutorial. We'll get it edited and send it out.